Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, so we're going to talk a little bit about antennas especially the two antennas that I've been using uh, one of the interesting aspects of uh, the live show we did yesterday was that it um, made me plug in my two VHF UHF capable antennas on the RSPDX and of course been able to switch rapidly between both to see how good signals are received from one and the other. And um, some interesting observations, of course. So my first, this is the loop, the K180WLA, rated to go up to 180 megahertz, but still, according to the specs, it actually should work well also in the 400 megahertz range and the other antenna I have is a vertical so it's um, meant for mobile use it's a antenna that has a mag mount for uh, you know to put on a car it's an old antenna but it works great and I've have it installed on top of a metal shed in my backyard and uh, of course yesterday I was able to switch rapidly between my vertical and this loop and my observations are interesting because um, the loop is very directional and that's a good and a bad thing um, the good thing about the loop is that if I put it in the proper direction for a signal it definitely receives uh, most signals even in the 400 megahertz range stronger than does my vertical antenna so this is kind of interesting and we got to note that this is an amplified antenna also so this could also play in favor of it but when the loop is positioned correctly definitely the loop beats the vertical but that said yesterday as i was tuning satellites satellites move all the time as they're going in through their orbit and this is a directional antenna that means the satellites when i actually listen to them move in and out of the antennas um, you know directional patterns which means that when the satellite is positioned in a certain area i'll receive it real good in an other area well i could be in the null side of the antenna which means i might not receive it at all also the fact that um, you know if the satellite is low on the horizon or high up just above me that also impacts the reception on the loop the vertical on the other side is an antenna that should technically receive equally the same signal all around so what I've noticed yesterday is that when the signal is in the proper position yeah the K180 works great but for the most part I pretty much noticed that it was much better to especially when your loop is in a fixed position that you can't you know doesn't have a rotor or anything on it the, the vertical antenna did a better job of at receiving the overall signal from the satellites and that has to do probably because of the fact that it's omnidirectional it receives uh, pretty much of the same you know strength all around the only place where the um and that's good for both antennas the only place where the uh, vertical has a problem is when the satellites pass directly overhead since the antenna is made to receive a horizontal signals when the signals are overhead it is not necessarily um very good because it's not meant to receive straight up above the antenna so kind of interesting observations here uh, that I have and uh, I'll probably have more as I'm going to keep that setup on my uh, RSPDX uh, which now will have on the antenna inputs. Um, antenna A input will have the um, K180WLA. Antenna B will be the mobile vertical VHF UHF. An antenna C connector will have my MLA30 loop antenna. 
the W6LVP loop that I had on it is now connected to my either my Yisu FT450 or ICOM ACR8500, depending on what I want to listen to. So kind of interesting. That means that for satellite listening, I will prefer my vertical. Uh, but for a terrestrial signal in the VHF UHF range, uh, depending on its position, it might be better on the loop uh, because it's very directional and does seem to get more signal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.